So now you've had a little introduction to the use of the meter when it's the same and why this is seven years off and yet it's still tagging the 63's. Now there's one more thing I need to go through before I get into the next really important use of the meter is that this text, all of it, and the, the gray harlot was sitting on the waters. Okay? This whole section is talking about the apostatization of both Judaism and Christianity. Because this is Bar Kokhba where it starts. Remember to add 88 to these numbers to get our AD. This is Bar Kokhba when it starts. So it's predicting that. It's specifically predicting it as a result of the Quito's War. See, this is the future end of the Quito's War in 117. This is when Trajan dies. The last word is Legon. And it's making fun of his death. Because that was the big brouhaha. That was the gossip all over the Roman Empire. What did he say? Who's going to inherit? Who's next? And his wife said it, that he said it was Hadrian and nobody believed her. Was she right or was she lying? Well, that was the big gossip. Hadrian then comes to power here. And Hadrian was in Syria at the time that Trajan died. Duro means come here. So it's making fun of Hadrian too. Hadrian might have been officially in Rome named Emperor, but he wasn't in Rome when it happened. He was in Syria. So come here. You're the inheritor. Alright? And here's a link to Hadrian. Here's a link to Trajan. You can read all about it yourself. Here's a link to Bar Kokhba. But Hadrian was putting down the Quito's War. It hadn't quite ended yet when he's called. Okay? They were mopping it up. So in that same vein, and every single Bible book touches on this. It's, it's, I started to explain. Okay, see right here, that's Matthew. Okay? And then also in Luke. Okay, which is really right. That's 104. That's 115. Okay, so Luke's tie to the Quito's War is that text. Okay? Teacher, when will all these things be? Yeah. And he uses a slightly different fiscal. Instead of saying 85, 4, he says 85. So he might be using a different fiscal year than what Matthew is using. Because remember, Israel had two fiscal years. One that started at the autumnal equinox, and another that started at the vernal equinox. So if Luke is using a autumnal, then it would be considered a new year. Alright? I haven't yet, you know, really proved that. Teacher, when will all these things be? Yeah, that's what they were expecting. They thought the second coming was supposed to happen because the, the temple had gone down. They were expecting it by 94 AD. It didn't come. So now they were ticked off. And they started to think... Well, we have to bring Christ back. Or we have to bring Messiah back. Because they didn't accept Jesus Christ when he came. They were thinking there was going to be a new Messiah. Which is why it culminates. This is 130 at this point. Here's 142. This is 144 down here. So all this text is relating to that time. So to get the history of what's being said in each of these chapters. About the same time period. You have to line up the numbers. So 84 and 30 is 114. Okay, 85 and 30 is 115. So this text is covering the Quito's War at its very start. This text is covering why. Because they were looking for signs. Okay? This text, 63, 93... 91, that's 121. So that takes you a little bit past it. Maybe to 
121, that'd be four syllables past it, so Kata Lute, that's four. Okay, so this text will cover the Quito's War. Okay, not one stone left on another. See, by the time it ends, you realize there's still not one stone left on another. In fact, more importantly, this is when they start considering whether they're going to just raise the whole city, but they hadn't done it yet. They're just talking about it. And what was basically happening was that even after the Quito's War ended, the Jews were saying, oh, please, Hadrian, build the temple. Please build the temple. And they misinterpreted his answer to claim that he was going to do it. And that's why they start the Quito's War. And you can read all this. Okay, all I have to do is look up Quito's War. Okay? Let's look it up in Google. And because he didn't rebuild the temple the way they thought he was going to, they do it again. Okay, and this is 121 AD. So, to the May. Not left upon another, yeah. And it's because it was a knot. That was also Hadrian's answer. That they wait and they wait and they twist Hadrian's answer and they finally say, you know what? We want to fight against you anyhow. You're, you're not right. We want our temple. Okay, that, so that becomes 1149 at the end. So you'd have to like go from 121 and you'd have to say, okay, well, how much of this time applies to just Bar Kokhba? Okay, if that's 30 plus, that's 1149 which is about 14 years too many so where does it stop okay let's see two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so right in the middle of the mountain of olives ha ha because that's where christ is supposed to come back that's where the Bar Kokhba Rebellion ends, and that's where it also started. There was a guy who decided he was the Messiah, and that he had come back. Mount of Olives, that's where it began, that's where it ended. See, God's being real precise. Okay, so when it comes to Revelation, this whole period... What does it say? The great whore sat upon many waters. That was when Bar Kokhba was going to start. This is why it started. Religion. Sitting on many waters. Religion taking over. Waters is, stands for peoples. Everywhere pretty much in the Bible you look. You know, like you got in Revelation 4, you got Sea of Glass. That's all of us, church. Okay, then the devil stood on the sea in Revelation 13. That means peoples. Okay. And so here, when it says many waters, it means many different kinds of peoples. Because it's boundaries for countries. Okay. So religion is the real focus here. And the real focus of this text, although it is tying back to the temple, obviously... Its more important focus is how religion apostatized and became whore-like in this period. And I got the, the alarms again, so I'll just shut this off for a moment and wait for the police to go by.